open mixing, having tactile control over all the elements of your mix brings speed and creativity. And being able to bring up plugins on the encoders of your control surface or even tablet will give you much quicker access to making your creative ideas a reality. And while it's good to have a default starting point for laying out a plugin's parameters on these devices, not everyone works the same way. With a new custom knobs feature in Yukon, you can now create your own plugin maps to suit your creative needs and workflows. Custom knobs, introduced in Yukon version 2021.6, lets you create custom plugin parameter layouts that are separate from both the 1x8 horizontal encoder section of the Avid S1 and S3 surfaces and the 4x2 encoder section of the Dock and Avid Control app. You can even create custom layouts for how the dedicated EQ and Dynamic sections map in these areas as well. And you can create custom plugin knob maps for any Yukon enabled DAW, including Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase, and many others. I like to work with plugins in a certain way on the S1 surface. That might not be how it was laid out from the manufacturer. Also, when accessing a plugin from Avid Control on the dock, the plugin layout is in the same order as it is for the horizontal controls on the surface. But now with custom knobs, I can create my own layouts for any plugin that will map exactly how I want it for both the surface and the dock. One of my favorite compressors is a Rouser from Empirical Labs. Let's set up its custom mapping for my S1 surface. To start, we need to go to the Channel tab in the Avid Control app and choose either Inserts, EQ, or Dynamics. We're going to choose Inserts, then choose a Rouser from the list of plugins on this channel. Once the plugin is selected, you will see a Custom button above the plugin parameters. Pressing Custom takes you into the editor for that plugin. From here, you can choose either to create a 1x8 or a 4x2 map. We're going to start with a 1x8 map for S1. Now, you can just drag and drop the parameters from the middle of the screen into the slots you want them to appear in. The parameters are active on the surface as soon as they populate a slot. For these 1x8 maps, slot one of the surfaces at the top left column slot through slot 8, which is the bottom right column slot. You can create multiple pages of parameters as needed for any particular plugin by pressing the plus button. And if you have more than eight faders, as in systems with multiple S1s or an S3, multiple pages will also let the parameters span across all available knobs. Once you're done, just exit out of the custom setup and the map is complete. This also saves the map to your workstation so you can back the file up or even copy it over to another system or S4, S6 master module. Now let's do a 4x2 custom map of a Rouser for the Dock and Avid Control app. Go back to Inserts, a Rouser, Custom, and choose 4x2 from the drop down switch. We can now start to map the plugin for this controller's layout. Also, you have the ability to place parameters in multiple slots to have constant access to your most used functions. This is useful with this plugin for having access to the input, output, and mix controls on multiple pages. If you want to replace a slot with a different parameter, you can just drag another parameter over the existing one, or you can use the clear function to blank it out. Some selections have multiple parameters assigned, with the secondary parameter accessed by the select switch. When you drag one of these into a slot, you will have the choice of using either the individual parameters or keeping the existing dual functionality accessed with the select switch. And if you want to get back to the plugin's default map, just delete the custom pages and exit out of the editor. Now I have the ability to work with the Rouser exactly how I want on either the horizontal layout of my S1 surface or the 4x2 layout on the Avid Control dock combination. Being able to have custom maps for all of your plugins is a big workflow enabler, and it's easy to create different layouts for both S1 and S3, as well as the dock and control app to take advantage of their different knob configurations. By having the parameters show up on the surfaces in a way that makes sense to you, will speed up your mixing and keep your creativity in top form.